Tammy Cataro. Now, after a long, illustrious career as an international supermodel, I decided what I really needed was to get back here stateside. Stop laughing. All right, I turned to my fancy cell phone for a downhill microphone, and now I travel around the great USA asking people questions. Then it's back to LA, so today's players can guess who could Vogue. Oh, um, oh what's this? Move up. And who could only pose. And here are our contestants. We have Veronica right there. Veronica. And Matt, big Matt. Now, there's only one cash prize to be had, guys, so strut your stuff like you mean it. Now, let's meet our three cul-de-sac cuties. First up, Esther has been married almost twice as long as I've been alive. So, Esther, where are you from? I am originally was born in Chicago, Illinois. And you've been married for 61 years. That's amazing. You don't I've hear about... I've been married 61. That's what I said, yeah. Married 61. Married 61. 61 years married. Who's your favorite singer of all time? I loved Andy Williams. Oh, sure, Andy Williams. Even though it gives me away way back. Oh, no, it does. Everybody doesn't. likes that, the kind <laughs> that you can't understand a word they say, right. but all they do, yeah, 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 yeah. Right. What do you think? What do you think? <laughs> How cute is Esther? That Serena tells us she's head over heels for my twin, Brad Pitt. So, Serena, where are you from? Ohio. What's your favorite thing about living in Ohio? Um. Well, where I live, there's not much to do, so... Well, what do you do for fun, then? We just go to coffee shops. Oh. If you could date someone famous, who would it be? Oh, Brad Pitt. See, Brad Pitt. Every, all the girls love Brad. Yes. What do you like the most about Brad Pitt? He's hot. Yeah. Serena, how would your friends describe you? They would probably say I'm outgoing. Right. Uh, fun. Fun. Let's hope. <laughs> You're like fun. <laughs> fun. <laughs> Cutie. And finally, Joe puts the Karate Kid to shame. So, Joe, where are you from? I'm from California originally. So, Joe, you're uh, you're big in martial arts. Uh, I like martial arts and martial arts a little. What's the form that you're the the, the style you practice? It's, it's Muay Thai kickboxing. So, so, see, okay. Oh, it's all the legs. It's leg boxing. It's kickboxing. It's kicking, punching, and different things. So, Joe, you've seen Street Smarts a bunch of times, right? Yeah, I've seen it a lot of times. Okay, so what do you want to say to America? I'm gonna be the bad, be number one right here. Pick me always. You'll, you'll know these answers. I'll know all the answers. You guys heard it from. All right, it's time to tell the brains from the brawn. Let's find out who knew it. I asked all three the same question. You guys have to figure out who got it right. You'll lock in your choice and a correct guess gets you, get you 100 bucks. Okay, guys? Here we go. First question I asked to Esther, Serena, and Joe. Three good people up there today, guys. Good luck. In standard film processing, you can order your photos with either matte finish or blank finish. So what do you think, guys? Kind of a tongue twister there to open the show. So who do you think got it right? Was it Esther, Serena, or Joe? Told me about photo finishes and stuff. Okay. <laughs> All right, you're both locked in. You both think Serena. Matt, you think she's the one that knows, huh? Yeah, you just look at her, man. Yeah. She looks like she knows. Cute girl. All right, Veronica, what do you think? Yeah, she's young. I'm sure she's got lots of films to develop before. Right. Young you know. people love pictures. <laughs> in standard film processing, you can either order your photos with matte finish or blank finish. Total finished. Total, yeah, you want them fully exposed. That's right. You don't want a picture half exposed. You're all done. You want a nice, glossy picture all finished. All done. Yeah, that's the oh. wrong answer. Sorry, you both went with Serena. Terrible, uh, that's not the right answer. Now, audience, I'm going to ask you, do you think Esther or Joe had it? Joe! Joe! Joe. <laughs> In standard film processing, you can order your photos either with a matte finish or blank finish. A matte finish or a glossy finish. Very good, Joe. Nice job. Oh, yeah. That's yeah, a hard one. Cool. That's a hard question. Way to go, Joe. All right, here we go to the next question, guys. I asked all three, all capital letters are called blank case. All capital letters are called blank case. I know, there's a lot of people who go, what? That's it. Think about it. These are the things. All right, so lock in when you think who knew it. All right, Veronica, lock in as quickly as you can. All right, you're both locked in. Now, you both think Esther's the one. Matt, she'll get this? Dude, she's old. She looks like she's been to school, you know? Okay, Veronica, you agree? Yeah, thank you. I'll see if sweet Esther knows it. All capital letters are often called blank case. Capital letters are at the beginning of a sentence. Okay. Oh, no. That's the wrong answer. I'm sorry, guys. Esther didn't get that one. You know who knew? Hey, Joe. Right there. All capital letters are called blank case. Are called uppercase. Uppercase. Very good. Uppercase is the correct answer. Okay, here's the last question around. I have to be honest, that was kind of a tricky question. Uppercase, I'm like, oh, yeah, okay. All right, here we go. Last question around. What kind of cookies are commonly made in the shape of a man? 
What do you think? What kind of cookies are made in the shape of a man? Who knew it? What do you think, guys? Try to get you guys some money up there. Esther, Serena, or Joe knew it. Okay, you're both locked in. You're both going with Esther, Veronica. Yeah. She's going to get this? Yes, yeah, she's ate a lot of cookies. You and you know, guys made a lot. Yeah, and you guys have been thinking alike the whole time. Let's see if we can yeah. get you each 100 bucks. What kind of cookies are commonly shaped as a man? As a man, a brownie. Oh, no. That's the wrong answer, too. Sorry, I can't give you guys any money. The correct oh. answer, cute little Serena had it. Oh. What kind of cookies are commonly made in the shape of a man? Gingerbread cookies. That's the right answer. All right, let's recap the scores here. Veronica's got no money. Oh. Matt's got no money. All right. Oh. Hey, there's more street smarts coming up. Come on back. Yeah. Oh, Fred, don't eat them. What bodily sound is associated with Tupperware's airtight seal? A fart. Burp. <laughs> I don't know what kind of Tupperware you're buying, but remind me not to put any leftovers in it. Hey, welcome back to Street Smarts. Let's meet our in-studio contestants. Right now we're scoreless, but that's okay. We got Veronica here. She's from Los Angeles, California. She's a care provider. Now, you went to a celebrity basketball game. Tell us the story and what happened. Yeah, I'm sitting next to this guy, not knowing who he is. Girls run up to him, asking for his autograph. I'm trying to see what he signed, never found out. I'll go home the next day, found out it was the rapper Exhibit. Exhibit yeah. A! Yeah. <laughs> Exhibit A, Veronica didn't know. Okay. <laughs> I don't even know what that meant. All right, we got Big Matt here. Matt is from Riverside, California. He's a shop. No applause for Matt? What's yeah. up? Yeah. Yeah. He's a shop, man. Now, you know, he'd come in the crowd because he knows Taekwondo, right? True. So tell what happened yeah. one day, though? All right, take this out. Last year, I was taking Taekwondo, and usually I just rip, all right? And then it was right. like, I was having to spar with this girl, and she pretty much, she beat me. But oh, I may not hey, oh. beat them, but I will not get beat tonight. Matt so. got beat by a girl! Oh! Take away his belt, give him a sissy belt. What's up, Matt? Want a little karate kid right now? I think so. Okay, here we go. All right, recap of scores. Veronica has no money. Matt's got no money. <laughs> Board up your Malibu Beach House. It's time to find out who blew it. I have the same question, only two people at a time. You guys have to figure out who got it wrong. We're looking for the wrong answers, guys. You'll lock in your choice and a correct predi uh, prediction gets you 200 bucks. Okay. Yeah. Plus, I flew in the dunce cap right there. Can only use once this round. Now, when you think your opponent does not know the answer, smack the buzzer and dunce them. If they're wrong, you get 200 bucks. If they're right, they get 200 bucks. See, just like a high school click. The cap can turn on you, so be cool. All right. Now here's the first question I asked to both Esther and to Joe. Where would you find a button fly? Where would you find a button fly? Who blew it? Remember, we're looking for the wrong answer here. Was it Esther or Joe? Can I tell me? Hopefully we'll get you guys some money. Well, it's not definite. You're both locked in. We don't know. You think Esther blew it, huh, Matt? Dude, she hasn't known nothing yet. So. Right. Uh, but she's a sweet lady, Matt. <laughs> All right, Veronica, you don't think she'll get this either? No, no. All right, let's see what happens. Where would you find a button fly? A button fly up the pants. Yeah, that's right. Well, you know, you can have a zipper or a button fly. What do you prefer? Oh. What are you doing, Esther? I wanted to see if I had a button fly. Well, I think you just have elastic pants. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Aha, <laughs> uh -huh, she got it right. She knew the button fly. Yeah. Esther, yeah. <laughs> Guys, you know, buddy, Joe. Joe's the one who blew. Watch this. Joe, where would you find a button fly? A button fly. A button fly, yeah. Probably on somebody's button. What do you mean? Explain this. Oh, it's a fly that lands on people's buttons. Yeah, Joe's the one who missed that one. Read into the question a little too much there. Okay, guys, here's the next question I asked to Esther and Serena, and maybe you guys can get some money. It's always fun. Okay. <laughs> Finish this saying. Read them and blank. Read them and blank. Who blew it, Esther or Serena? Mm. One of them blew it. Looking for 200 bucks here. Tell me who blew it. Okay, you're both locked in. You both think Serena. You guys, you guys have been thinking the same. Hey. She, he's not copying. He was locked in before you. Oh, hey, okay. Right now. now you think right now. Okay. he's no Taekwondo? Well, he got beat by a girl. You can take him. Uh, it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> so you both think Serena blew it, Veronica? She won't know this, right? Yeah, I don't think she knows. Uh, let's take a look. <laughs> Finish this saying. Read them and blank. Weep. And when do you when do you usually say something like that? When like. You made someone lose at something or something. That's a correct answer. I'm sorry, you guys. Esther's the one who blew it. Scoreless game still. So. Esther, finish this saying. Read them and what? Read them and love them. And love them. What are you talking about there? Well, reading the book and loving the book and loving people. Oh, makes you weep. That's right. <laughs> that was funny. I threw a weep there. Okay. 
All right, here's the last question around. Let me recap the scores. Okay. Uh, <laughs> here's a question I asked Serena and Joe. I showed them this photo, see it down there, and asked, who is this man? Oh, Matt, you've been dunked. Veronica, throw the cap up on Matt. Reach up there. Matt, I'm going to repeat the question. You have five seconds to answer it. That means someone's actually going to give money. Right. <laughs> who is this man? That's, um, that's Colin Powell. Right here, so Matt's got two of them. What's that cap on? What is she thinking? Oh, he smushed it. Bucks. Now, who do you guys think blew it? <laughs> who do you guys think blew it? Serena or Joe? Veronica, we can get that 200 bucks back for you ah. here. You pick, a, pick who you think blew it. All right, you're both locked in. Again, you guys think the same way. Hey. Calm down. All right. Hey. So, Matt, she won't get this one? Nah, she's not going to know. All right, let's take a look. She's just not going to know. Serena, who is this man? Oh, that's Craig Willis. Craig Willis? <laughs> yeah. It's Colin? Colin O'Brien. And he hosts a late night show. She blew away to go. Both to get 200 bucks. Veronica's on the board. Matt doubled his money to 400. Correct answer. Colin Powell. Joe got that right. Now, recap and Veronica, you just made 200 bucks. You're on the board. Matt's got 400 bucks. It took a while to got there. The U.S. Mint better print up some new bills. And our next round of questions are worth $300 a pop. Stick around. A gobbler is a male what? A goose. The male goose. Goose. Gobbler. Gob, 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 gob. I think it's a turkey. Well, it's a goose. Oh, okay. Dude, a goose gobbles. Hey, welcome back. Now, the Lone Ranger picked silver, but it's time now to pick your pony. Make sure guys choose one of these fine people for the entire round and try to guess how they'll answer three answers. Now, correct prediction is worth $300. The dunce cap is back. It's worth $300. You can only use it once. Now, recap of the scores here. Veronica has got uh, 200 bucks. Woo! Matt's got 400 bucks. Now, the player who's trailing goes first. Veronica, that's you. So who would you like to pick? I'm picking Esther. Oh, sweet Esther. Way to go. Good choice. Matt, how about you? I'm Got picking Serena. Go with Serena. She's Serena. adorable. All right. Two cute ladies up there. All right, Veronica, here's your first question to Esther. And if you predict this correctly, you'll take the lead. If someone calls you a head case, what are they saying about you? Oh, you've been done. Right away, Matt. Throw that cap up there. Veronica, I'm going to read the question again. You'll have five seconds to answer it. If you get this right, you take the lead. If someone calls you a head case, what are they saying about you? You think you got a little few screws loose up there? Kind of crazy. That's the right answer. Way to go, Veronica. Yeah. Yeah. $500. Put that cap on, Matt. Nice job. Okay, now, what do you think? Do you think Esther got it right or wrong, Veronica? Oh, Esther. Let me see. Esther. Or? Esther. No. You got it right? Yeah. Let's take a look. If someone calls you a head case, what are they saying about you? Boy, I'm nuts in my head. <laughs> no one says that about you, though. Plenty of them say it. I love Esther. She got it right. Thank you, Veronica. Big question for you. You're up to 800 bucks. You made 600 bucks on that question. Yeah. Kick ass. All right, Matt, here's the first question to Serena. Adam and Eve named their first two sons Cain and what? I think Serena got it right or wrong. She does not know nothing, yo. She, won't. she doesn't know. <laughs> All right, I'm she feeling does not it. Let's know. check it out. Adam and Eve named their first two sons Cain and what? Abel. Cain and Abel, exactly. And you read the Bible? Yes, I do. What's your favorite passage or part? Um, I like Psalms 119. My favorite, too. <laughs> I bet. Oh. She got it right, Matt. I'm sorry. She got that, yo. All right. Okay, here's your next question, Veronica. You can open up a bigger lead here to Esther. When would you typically do a butterfly stroke? What do you think? Mm, Esther. Esther got it back. Do you think she got it wrong? Yes. Okay, let's find out. When would you typically do a butterfly stroke? A butterfly stroke. Well, here's a butterfly. That's it right there? Uh, yeah. Where would you do that? Why? When would you? When you're flying. Flying. <laughs> yeah. That's a wrong answer. Way to go, Veronica. That's right. That's <laughs> the correct answer when you're swimming. Would have yeah. thought someone named Esther would have got that? Esther Williams? Oh. Yeah, that's a good reference. Okay, here we go. Next question for you to Serena, Matt. <laughs> Finish the title of Jack London's famous book, The Call of the... Hmm, what do you think? Uh, I don't think she's been reading too many books. You think, yo? Say yo. <laughs> yo. Okay, all right, there you go. <laughs> Finish the title of Jack London's famous book, The Call of the... Eagles. The Call of the... And how does that sound? Give me the sound. Oh, I don't know. Not, a, not, a, not an eagle in captivity, a wild eagle. 
One that's really free. Why don't you show me? You go first and then I'll do an eagle. <laughs> On the count of three, we'll both do one. Ready? Okay. One, two, three. Woo! <laughs> Uh, the correct answer, the call of the wild. Holy <laughs> Our audience reads. Very good audience. Smartest audience in uh, TV. All right, I asked Esther. <laughs> voyeurs are often called peeping what? What do you think? Think Esther got that right or wrong? Esther got that wrong. All right, let's take a look. She got that wrong. Voyeurs are often called peeping Peep what? Toms. <laughs> so that's a nasty thing. Listen, nowadays. People go nude enough and they don't have to peek through a window to see more. Are you, are you disgusted by are you disgusted no, by the nudity? No, if they have the right type of figure. <laughs> uh, she got that one right, Veronica. She knew Peter Tom's. All right, Matt. You can make it a close game here for the wager of death. In football, what is it called when a kicker scores three points with one kick? You think she got this right or wrong, Matt? You get this, you'll pull within hundred bucks for the wager. Think she got it? I gotta give her I gotta give her some credit. In football, what is it called when a kicker scores three points with one kick? Field goal? A what? Field goal? I can't, you're, slow down, say it one more time. Field goal. Field what's that, goal. what's Field the second goal. word you're saying? Field goal. Goal. Shit's good, she got it right. Way to go, Matt, turn it for you. Nice job, my man. Takes you up to $1,000, man. Yeah. Veronica's got 1100 yeah. for Louis. Now when we return, Veronica and Matt will be making a final prediction on a question I asked to Esther. Serena and Joe, I asked them, John Goodman played the husband named Dan on what long-running sitcom? We're in deep and the sharks are circling. It must be... The Wager Dan of Death. Stay tuned. Welcome back. Now, Veronica and Matt, here's the deal. Now, during the break, you both secretly chose a person, made a prediction if they would be right or wrong, and then you made a wager not to exceed your total. Good game. You guys started out slow, came back with some money. Matt's got a thousand bucks. Veronica's got eleven hundred dollars. My palms are sweaty just thinking about what's next. So let's get to it. Now here's a question I asked to Esther, Serena, and Joe. John Goodman played a husband named Dan on what long-running sitcom? So let's get your choices right now. Veronica, you got eleven hundred bucks. So who do you want to see? Esther. Little lead, you're going back to Esther. She's been good for it. Matt, how about you? Only shown by 100 bucks. Serena. He's going with Serena. It's the same people you guys took in the pony round. See you later, Joe. Thanks, Bob, buddy. He was very funny. We didn't see a lot of them, but you'll see him on the credit roll. See what he did on this answer. So, uh, Veronica, you're up by 100 bucks. You went with Esther. Let's check out her clip. See if you can hold on. John Goodman played a husband named Dan on what long running oh, sitcom? Oh, I love John Goodman. With Roseanne. Uh, Ro uh, Roseanne. She said Roseanne, that's a correct answer. Now, Veronica, you went with Esther. We saw her get it right. What did you say she would do? You said she would get it wrong. Veronica, how much of your 1100 bucks did you wager? You wagered 1000 Bust it down to 100 You still got some on the table. Let's see what Matt did with Serena's clip. Let's watch her. John Goodman played a husband named Dan on what long-running sitcom? Oh, uh, Friends. No. <laughs> That's a wrong answer. Friends is not right. John Goodman was, was uh, Dan on Roseanne. Uh, now, Matt, you went with Serena. She got it wrong. What did you say? You said she would get it right. Oh! Now, Matt, how much of your $1,000 did you wager? If you played it safe, you might have won. Let's see, what'd you do? He wagered 1000 oh! Bust him down to zero. Veronica wins 100 bucks. Oh! <laughs> Thanks, what a great game. All uh, right, you know what I have to say at the end of this show? Just remember, according to Esther, it's okay to be nude if you have a good finger. Esther, we loved it. You were awesome. Thank you. Also to Serena and Joe. Bye-bye. John Goodman played a husband named Dan on what long-running sitcom? Roseanne. 